Hi guys, right, this video we're going to concentrate on making a new post. So at this point you should have your site with your about page done, with your bio done and your photograph. So what we're going to look at is posts here. So in your menu just pop across the post. And I apologise for the uh, tardiness of my internet. I'm going to add a new post. And that brings up our new post page. Now, if you're not familiar with WordPress, and I'm going to assume some of you are, so much like my teaching, I'm going to go from the lowest point of knowledge. This sheet is basically the same in any WordPress you go to. You have your title, you have your body, and then if you go down the main sheet here, the only things that will be different are you'll have WordPress by Yoast because that's what I've added for you because it's brilliant. You'll also have an excerpt which you can use, which it will pull out. I don't use them, but some people do. I don't use the custom fields. Um, sharing, I leave the sharing buttons on. That's to do with the jetpack and everything else. And then you can do suggested tags, which is very useful. Um, but we'll look at that bit later on. On the right hand side, you've got, don't worry about that, it doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. Um, Setting your featured image is also useful because that was what will get pulled out into your um, social media feed. However, you can change that in the back end of here, and I'll come to that later on in the post. Tags is where you put your tags in for your posts, and then we move on to uh, the publish box. You can change all this. Um, you can change the status from draft, or if you publish something and realise you don't want it to be seen, so it needs to be worked on it. You can edit that and then. Um, change it to if you just click on that it'll open that up and you can choose whether it's your pending review or whether it's published or whatever same with visibility sometimes you don't want to post to be seen so you can actually click on that and you can make your password protected or private and then publish you can edit that as well so you can actually schedule when you want your post to go out so you can say right okay um, I've done five posts I want one to go out a week so you can set one to go out each week and that sorts that out for you and that's nice and handy if you want to spend a day just doing posts and get them out of the way for the for the next month or whatever up here is quite an interesting little uh tool i haven't been using it long so um i'm still trying to figure it all out but it does no harm um if you're looking for keywords to put into your post and to be honest by the time you come to write it you should have done some keyword research anyway but if you want to do it on the fly you can do so you just enter a word. So if I was to enter um, copywriting, and then I was to click on copywriting, if I just click suggest, it goes away as I think about it, and then it'll come back with a list of suggested keywords. Now, the problem with this is it doesn't tell you how much competition there is, whether they're good keywords, bad keywords, indifferent keywords. So it's okay, but... I'm still looking to see if it's worthwhile having. If not, I shall remove it or I just won't use it and I'll tell you not to either. But for the moment, you know it's there. Anyway, back to the body of the post itself. So the first thing is you enter your title. So we're going to enter something like um, my fantastic anorak. That will make it publishing site okay so that's your title I'm going to copy that so it's control a control C come into the main body paste it into there then I'm going to select that and I'm going to make it um, heading one. Oh, oh just a tip by the way when you first open this up if you find that you can't see that box that says paragraph etc hit the kitchen sink which shows everything Okay, and then you'll get the box up here. Select heading one. Heading one is the, what you want at the beginning of the post. Okay, so then you do that and enter down, and you'd enter some text in there. So this is a post about my new site, and then you just fill that in whatever you want. I'm not going to go into too much depth. In fact, I'm not going to go into any depth here about um, the length of the post, the keyword, density, and all that sort of thing. That's reserved for training um, 
for later on at a much higher level. So I'm just going to give you the basics for the post here. Okay, so that's your basic post. You'll notice now what's happened as soon as you start writing in here, it's created the URL. And what it does, it truncates it up here. So you won't see the whole thing. If you click on edit, it'll show you the whole thing. If you wanted that to be different to that, you can make it. That's fine. No problems at all. Um, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. Just make sure you've got your keyword in there, in there, and in here as well. But as I say, I'm not going to um, go into that too much depth. So when you've done that, what you want to do is, if you look down here, now if you go to the SEO, once you've written your post, what you need to do is you need to pop your um, keyword in here. So I'm just going to put in uh, publishing. That should go away and find the keyword for me. There we go. So we'll have that. So whatever your focus keywords of the article is, you want to put it in there. Okay. And then here you can see you've got nothing. In fact, it's actually pulled out um, what I've put up here. So what it does, it also pulls in that that you've typed into the content box. What you can do with this, and it, it, it's quite so par powerful and very useful, is that when you um, are doing this you've got to bear in mind that the snippet preview up here is what will be seen in the search engines so if you want to if you want to uh, show something else other than your content for anorak publishing then put it here and it also, it, what it does, it, it copies that there, so that's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as your content. What you need in there is you'll need a keyword. And what this does is it actually shows you. So if a page you're old enough, I haven't got Anorak Publishing. So it's one reason why you want, I might do that. In fact, it's in there, so it should be showing that. Um, it might do after we've actually published it. But anyway, I'm just going to change the poo to put there we go okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually save the draft and you'll see that this SEO check here will change now what you're looking for is a trap light system what you're looking for is you're looking for it to go green if you can okay so it's gone amber so if it's amber it means you've got some issues all you do is click on check that'll take you down to here and it actually drops you straight into the page analysis tab there it is looks it's the second one in and it says here there's two free words no surprise there really 13 words isn't it? isn't an article is it really no images which you need some in there there's no outbound links meta description is too small the page the title contains keyword phrase so it does not appear at the beginning so what you need to do is you need to look at that and amend it to suit and just work on each bit come back to this have a look at it what you can also do in here is you can click on the social tab and then you can put in a description it's going to appear on Facebook and a Facebook image if you want it to be slightly different which is good because sometimes you set the featured image and it won't pull that it'll pull an image from the post so you might want to set a specific Facebook image in there put in the Google Plus description and that will use a set featured image in there okay so that's Yoast sorted. Um, tags you put in here, what you can do, and it won't pull any out, so no point in me doing it. But you click on um, local tags and it'll go away and it, it sh see it winding away over here. It'll find tags, okay? And to be honest, there's no connection, which isn't surprising. You can put tags in manually, so you can put in there um, Anorak Publishing, okay? And that saves the tag. The thing you need to do then is change your categories. Don't leave it uncategorized. And then when you've done that, you can publish. Now the thing with categories, I'm going to mention very, very quickly, is you won't have access to categories until you are either a paid or a pro member, because it's quite a powerful feature, and it, it'll take some training to get you to understand about how to use tags properly, or rather, sorry, my apologies, categories properly. So. Um, that's basically a post, so you publish it, like so. 
And again, I haven't bothered going through adding in images. I'm going to do that separately using the Add Media box because there's a lot to cover in there as well. Lots of little tips and tricks I can teach you. Um, so we'll just wait for this to publish. Okay. Come on, Internet. We can do it. There we go. And now if we view the post, you'll find that it'll take this link here and put it in full up into the address bar. Just like... So, and there we go. Okay, I normally change this to something else so it looks different to the top list. Um, you've got all the sharing things, okay, which have come off um, publicize and off your sharing things. And there's more in there if you want. Okay, so you're going to print it. Um, and that's very powerful. Okay, so that's how you make a basic post. As I say, post in depth I'll cover later on but that's going to be in the um, programship area. Okay, uh, I'll speak to you in the next video.